Hey guys, this is Peter Nelson, Research Director for Synchronicity Health. We got a great question in response to my last video on the compound ergothionine, which, as I mentioned, is a potent antioxidant that protects cells from oxidative stress and DNA damage and is found in relatively high levels in mushrooms. The question was, is there any difference across different types of mushrooms in the relative concentration of ergothionine? And the answer is yes. There is some variation in ergothionine content across different types of mushrooms. However, it should be noted that, as a whole, mushrooms represent one of the most potent food sources of ergothionine there is, so you really can't go wrong no matter what. As a bonus nugget, Ergothionine content tends to go hand in hand with glutathione content, another potent antioxidant. So mushrooms that are high in ergothionine also tend to be high in glutathione and vice versa. Across the most popularly consumed varieties of mushrooms, research shows that the ones with the highest levels of ergothionine and glutathione tend to be portobello mushrooms and cremini mushrooms, followed closely by white button mushrooms. However, more exotic types of mushrooms tend to have even higher levels of these antioxidants. For example, some of the highest levels of ergothionine and glutathione have been found in oyster mushrooms, king oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, and maitake mushrooms. So if your goal is to take advantage of high levels of ergothionine and glutathione and the health-promoting benefits that they can confer, then be sure to look at these varieties of mushrooms. If mushrooms really aren't your thing, it should be noted that lion's mane and cordyceps mushrooms are also relatively high in ergothionine and glutathione, and we have those ingredients in some of our mushroom supplements, like our cordyceps blend and our mushroom cacao powder, so be sure to give those a look.